20 seconds remaining. Long pass. Blanks will take quickly. it inside, and they got him on the foul. Oh, and it's an it's intentional. intentional foul. Blanks was going up for the layup. Mayberry coming over, grabs him. Good call by the official. He didn't make any effort to go for the ball. The official's on top of the call with an intention. Blanks at the line. Hits the first one. That was the key. He didn't go for the ball. He tried to put his arms around the man. That was it. And Nolan Richardson's walking off the court. Richardson is walking off the court. And Penders is screaming at the official about it. But... Nolan can leave anytime he wants, I guess. As Blanks hits them both, and of course on the intentional foul, that possession. And Richardson, with 14 oh, seconds oh, remaining, oh. is leaving the court. Well, despite the back call, if you thought it was good or bad, it doesn't look good for the program for the head coach to walk off before the game is over. That's a long, lonely walk for Nolan Richardson with 14 seconds remaining, obviously in protest of that call. possession. And for those of you who have just joined us, that's what had happened. Scott Edgar now taking the place of Nolan Richardson as moments ago, the head coach from the University of Arkansas, whether feeling that the game was over, whether frustrated by the officiating, maybe protesting the call of the intentional foul, left the court with 14 seconds left, and Mays now at the line to shoot one and one. 23 points, 10 rebounds, and two steals, and he misses it. Three-point game, 10 seconds to go. This is not over. Mayberry, the best field goal three-point shooter. Oh! Hits it. Mayberry hits it. And time runs out, and we go to overtime in Austin. We're set to go to overtime in Austin. Roger Twibel, Cheryl Miller with you. And what a turn of events here. Nolan Richardson, the head coach for Arkansas, left the floor with 14 seconds remaining in regulation, protesting an intentional foul call against Lee Mayberry. He left the court. It goes to overtime. Cheryl, they had to go to the locker room and bring him back. Well, you know, Roger, this doesn't make him or the team look good. If you're leaving a game in protest, he should have stayed out of the game. 